Here we are in the annual Winter Music Conference held every year in the beautiful, sunny South Florida, Miami Beach. As we arrive early on the first day of the Winter Music Conference, we see all the vendors prepared and ready to go. The first day is also the day that some of the most influential DJs of South Florida attend just to get the first glimpse of new technology, such as DJ Tech Pro. Some of the most important people in the music industry arrive, famous producers, promoters, and record executives, such as Henry Stone, Nick Salerno, Joe Granda, Steve Pina, and many more. And here we even feature a panel where Elvis Crest Raymond Hernandez and others get together to discuss about new music this year from house, Latin, electro, and beyond. Now, here is Andrew Hong demonstrating DJ Tech Pro's latest gear in turntablism. Hi, how's it going? My name is Andrew Hong. I'm the U.S. Marketing Manager for DJ Tech Pro. I'm here at the Winter Music Conference 2012 in uh, beautiful Southeast Miami, and it's uh, fantastic to be here. Uh, we brought out a few of our uh, newest products out here to show at the show and I want to go over with them uh, right now with you guys. So uh, why don't we walk down the line and I can show you a few of our products, all right? So I'm going to talk about our first product here. This is the Hybrid X1. The Hybrid X1 is a combination of two media players, the U-Solo FX, which play USB and SD card. They also have three different effects, an echo, a flanger, and a filter that's built in and you can control the parameters of the effects through the jog wheel. You've got your cue, your play pause. We also have a vinyl mode, your effects mode, and a scourge mode so you can scrub through your entire track. You have a nice LED readout here, which has your time and your track information as well. Moving over to the right side of the unit, you have your track select button, as well as a long pitch fader there for all you DJs who like to ride the pitch in. We also have an adjustable start and break as well. Now moving on to the rest of the Hybrid X1, we also have the X10, which is a two-channel DJ mixer that has an integrated sound card. Now this is actually a really unique mixer because number one, it's got a built-in USB sound card as well as like two USB hubs so you can plug in external controllers or any other devices. Another cool feature about this device is that not only are the line faders adjustable, but the cross fader is also adjustable as well. So you can also adjust the line faders down here. And you can also adjust the slope of your cross fader curve. A really cool thing is you can also adjust the, the slope of the cross fader curve on the right side of the cross fader and the left side of the cross fader too. So this entire package is sold together as the Hybrid X1. And basically what it is, is an all-in-one digital DJ solution that also provides traditional analog functionality. All right, so moving on to our next controller here, we've got the 4Mix. And what the 4Mix is, is it's basically a four deck controller that ships with virtual DJs. It's got four large knobs for direct access to your analog filters, as well as four channel faders here for your volumes. We also have rubber pads here that are drummable for your loop, as well as all your hot cues as well. So if you like to juggle your hot cues, we've got a lot of different hot cues here that can be easily erased or reassigned. So this is the 4Mix, and it's really designed to be an introductory 4-deck controller for DJs who want to use uh, a MIDI controller with virtual DJ. Moving over here to the left, right here we have our DDM3000, which is a four-channel analog mixer. It's got individual kill switches, for each of the channels. You have your cross fader, which has a replaceable cross fader, so you can drop an inno fader there if you want. And going down the right side of the unit, we also have selectable effects, and also your time, as well as your dry wet for the level that's gonna go into the mix. So this is a very good introductory uh, four, uh, four channel mixer for those who need uh, analog functionality. Now finally, what we have here is our iScratch 201. And the iScratch 201 is our newest media player. It takes USB, CD, or you can even switch it over to MIDI mode as well. So what this means is that it's not only a regular multiplayer, which plays CDs or USBs, but it also plays through MIDI control as well. So it's a fully functional MIDI controller, so it has the best of both worlds with analog functionality and digital connectivity. 
If you look at the unit again, what we have here is all the effects. We have a freezer effect, which is kind of like a drum roll effect that you can use to kind of chop up your tracks. You also have a filter, an echo, a flanger, and a trans effect. Moving down the unit, we have hot cues here on the bottom, and we also have samples that you can sample directly from your media. So that's the iScratch 201. It's our newest media player, and it's a great blend between being able to have regular analog functionality for a CD player, but if you're also a DJ who needs media control, we've also got that as well. Now over here, we're gonna talk a little bit about our newest MIDI controller, the Dragon 2. And basically the Dragon 2 is a fully functional MIDI controller. It ships with Virtual DJ LE, but it also is a fully functional analog mixer. So what I wanna do is walk through some of the major features of the Dragon 2. So kind of going down the left side here, you have direct access to all your sample decks in Virtual DJ. We've got a touch sensitive LED illuminated jog wheel here. And down here, you also have access to your auto loop. A cool function about this is once you engage your auto loop, you can dial down the size of your loop by looking at the LED encoders around the side. So you know exactly where you are without having to look at your computer. You have your pitch fader down here, high resolution 24 bit, as well as your manual in and out loop buttons, your reloop, and your sync. Now the great thing about these buttons is that they're rubber pads that are very responsible that are very responsive so that if you want to drum them, like you have here with these hot cues, you can, you can do that as well. So it's very easy for you guys who want to hot cue, uh, juggle your hot cues. You have a shift button here, your cup, as well as your cue, and your play pause. So let's move over to the mixer section of the Dragon 2. Now, if you look at the Dragon 2, what we have here is your gain, you have your select for your load A, load C, and B and, B and D. Now I told you this is also a four deck controller and you can switch to deck, decks three and four by switching over the switch. And as you can see, what you have here is an illuminated rotary ring around it to show you exactly what deck you're on. So when it's on blue, you're on one, you're on one or two. And if it's on red, you're on three or four. As you go down here, you have a filter. And the cool thing about the filter is that once you engage the filter, regardless if it's a high pass filter, or a low pass filter, the filter blinks so that you know when the filter is on or off. You also have your channel faders here that have LED meters so you can monitor your levels for your channel and your, ma and your master as well. Now, one thing that's really cool about this, this, this MIDI controller is that it's a fully functional analog mixer. So you can plug in devices like CD players, turntables and use this as a regular normal mixer. This filter is actually an analog filter as well. So if you plug in a CD player here and switch it over to CD mode, the filter still works with an analog device. So that's a very unique feature about this. If you look at all the connections on the back, you see you have a very robust sound card here. You've got inputs, so if you want a time code, Using the sound card, you can certainly do that. And you also have your booth RCAs, as well as master RCA, and very important, you also have XLR outputs for your master output as well. So this is the Dragon 2. It's our newest MIDI controller and analog mixer, and it ships with Virtual DJ, the four deck version of Virtual DJ. So moving on to one of our newer other products, We've got someone demoing these here. This is the DJM303, which is a two-channel mixer with integrated USB sound card and balanced quarter-inch outs. You also have all your effects running down the right side of the unit. And then you have all of your channel faders and your EQs running down the middle. A cool feature about this is that you also have crossfader effects as well. So if you want to be able to use effects on the crossfader, you can certainly do that too. So this is the DJM303, this is the red edition. It's one of our best selling two channel mixers and it's available now. It comes in black, blue, or red as you can see here. Now, a lot of DJs out there are talking about how vinyl is dying and this and that. We at DJ Tech believe that's completely false. There's still a very robust vinyl market out there. 
whether you're spinning through a DVS system or you're just going through straight, straight records. And so what we have here is the SL1300 MK6 USB. It's a direct drive, high torque uh, turntable, has three different RPM speeds, 33, 45, and even 78. You have a reverse function on it as well, and you also have a pitch select that goes from 10, 20, and even 50. You have a 45 adapter, and basically this turntable's got a very robust motor. We've had DMC champs who've been on the turntable, and so they've been a great They've been a great option for DJs who want to be able to have a robust turntable with a high torque direct drive motor. So this is the SL1300. It's one of our best selling turntables. Uh, my name is Andrew Hong and I'm the marketing manager for DJ Tech. Thanks so much for being here with us today at WMC 2012. Let's get some real opinion and some real testimonials by real DJs from different parts of the U.S. and around the world. What's up, DJ Gregorio, Miami Power 96, over here at Winter Music Conference 2012. Over right. here checking out the DJ Tech stuff, pretty good stuff, man, for real. How did you feel on the turntables uh, compared to the other equipment? Turntables are nice, heavy, solid, beautiful. Very nice, very impressed. Are you, we expecting a big turnout here in the Winter Music Conference? Oh man, it's gonna be huge, the best, Miami. How long are you gonna be sticking around? Are you gonna be coming here every day or what? I got a couple parties to do, got a couple clubs, but. This is a daytime stuff, love it. Testing out the equipment, DJ Tech stuff, hot. This is DJ Gregorio from Miami, Power 96, signing off, peace. Uh, I'm DJ Dan Decibel, I'm from Miami. What's your style of music? Uh, pretty much open format, but uh, you know nowadays it's pretty much house. So, but usually open format. And uh, I see that you're into the turntablism and the scratching. Yeah, man, uh, a lot of scratching, a lot of scratching. I love scratching. You get together with DJs and uh, and you know just have a good time scratching it up. Uh, the tech, uh, the DJ Tech uh, SL 1300 turntables are awesome. A lot of torque, a lot of torque. I love it because you can scratch and not have to worry about the. You know the platter is slowing down and nothing. It's 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 awesome. Really really good. I will compare it definitely to the top brands that like definitely has a lot of torque. That's my main issue, especially when scratching. It's 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 awesome. You know, like definitely really good. Really really good. DJ Scratch Academy, what's going on? I'm loving these turntables, man. These things are... Yeah, these... For all you techniques lovers, yeah. These are really... These are really good. They got the same torque. Can't go wrong. And they, they're not just silver or black. They got an orange, you know? Yeah, they come with three different colors, you know? I, I like them, man. They got the same torque. Mixer's good. I like it. It's just... I'm used to what I'm used to. But, uh... Hey. Yo, you gotta learn on some other stuff, you know? I'm an open format, open format club DJ, turntablist. So, you know, I, I do whatever. I would recommend this to everybody who's looking for techniques and can't get them no more. This is DJ Omanic. I'm representing DJ Tech Pro, DJ Scratch Academy in Miami. What a music conference, you can't go wrong. 2012, you know? All right, I'm DJ Streak. Right there you can see it, DJStreak.com. 
The Scratch Mamba. Now, um, the DJ uh, tech pro equipment that you were just jamming out. How did you feel about it? At, like, at first, when I was just looking at it, um, the, the table wasn't too steady. So I was like, usually when a table's not steady, you'll get a lot of skippage and stuff. But uh, to my amazement, the turntable is actually really durable. It was highly durable. Um, when I pressed the, the stop and start button, it's just quick. It's just, it's, just, it's just quick with it. So I was impressed. How was the mixer? Smooth. One word? Smooth. If you, thumbs up on DJ No, no, two thumbs up and a hang loose, all right? <laughs> my name's DJ Streak, djstreak.com, Supernatural Turntable Artist. DJ Colleen Shannon from Los Angeles. She's out here at the Winter Music Conference at the DJ Tech booth. She's gonna check out some of our new gear, Colleen. Yeah, what's up guys? I'm here to um, host the Mix and Scratch DJ spinoff. Uh, some of the most talented Scratch and Mix DJs are here at the Winter Music Conference today. And it's, it's gonna be a good show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Art, are you there? Yeah, no, no, you're, we're, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Hey, how are you? I'm the marketing manager for DJ Tech. I handle marketing manager for DJ oh, Tech. DJ from Los Angeles. She's gonna be doing oh, a big. As well. She's right. gonna be doing a big show in Indonesia. Oh, I was talking about your Guam thing. Yeah, there actually, might be uh, there. yeah, we're doing. Uh, we're arranging a big uh, outdoor festival on the island of Guam. Are you? It's gonna be the very first electronic island, uh, electronic oh. music festival in Guam. So, oh, yeah. so it's a it's a new brand in the U.S., but we're we're growing really quick now. Right, right. And so we've got really legacy stuff like the turntables, and those are really good turntables. Yeah. They're not junk. They've got a great motor. I've, I have had DMC champs on them. who okay. Absolutely love them. So, and yeah. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was a CD DJ. I didn't, oh, grow, I, didn't grow, I didn't grow up on vinyl, yeah, so yeah, I can't I, I can't vinyl. talk to I can't talk about vinyl like some of these guys do. Yeah. Well, I get a lot of these guys who grew up on vinyl to it's talk to them. It's really about important them, you know? that you have like the right torque and the right. Exactly. Like yeah. I said, like a technique, it's like nothing beats touching that. Yep. So if that's if that's something close to it, then you know. I, I don't think anything will ever replace the 1200, but I think this is a good alternative. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice. certainly there. But if you're in LA, um, I have a set down there, so you can check those out down okay. there as well if you'd like to. Yeah, right? sure. yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. What's up? I'm DJ Colleen Shannon here with DJ Tech. And I'm Andrew Hong, the U.S. Marketing Manager for DJ Tech at uh, Winter Music Conference 2012. This is Nick Baby Love. My man, I'm the entertainment, Steve Pina. Doing our thing for DJ Tech worldwide. We're here in South Florida, the number one breakout market in the country. Here with Poco Loco, Cut It Up Down. We get all kinds of pictures. Elvis Crespo rocking the DJ Tech equipment. Henry Stone, the legend, with Casey and the Sunshine Band. George McRae, the whole nine yards at the Winter Music Conference. We had a spectacular time with Omni Entertainment. Everybody from Power 96, from 93.9, Felix Sama. Power 96 again, we have JP, DJ Gregorio, we have Scratch Academy represented with of course Ilmanic and DJ Danny Decibel. We have DJ F from Power 96, many, many DJs across the country, the whole nine yards, baby. We got this major event coming up, it doesn't stop. It's just absolutely phenomenal. The turntables are incredible. Are, are you hearing me? DJ Tech got the turntables. The headphones, Jose, you behind me. Listen to that music on those incredible headphones. Those gold headphones. Are you with me, Jose? There you go, he's saying yeah. My man, Jose. This is Nick Baby Love in the house. DJ Tech, one time, we got you. We need you back down here. We're showing you love. What time? Hong Kong, can you hear me? Bruce Lee, guess what? I've been there to Hong Kong. This is the number one breakout market in the country. What time? This is Nick Baby Love. Are you hearing me? I'm the entertainment. Little Roy, cut it up that record. Tim from 380. Jose, my man Al. And of course, the legendary filmmaker, the one and only Alex Weir. DJ Tech in the house, we got you. South Florida, with all the conventions coming up. DJ Tech, one time, we got your back. Let's blow this up all across the world. Go, DJ Tech. Go, go, go. DJ Tech in the house.